What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 30 minute glutes workout. So grab your dumbbells and a glute resistance band and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited that you're here today for our 30 minute glutes workout. I'm gonna get you set up so we can rock right into this workout. We will have different work periods throughout the workout, ranging between 30 seconds and 60 seconds at a time. So be ready to work hard with, first of all, your dumbbells, things like squats, deadlifts. We'll have more of the medium to heavy range for yourself, whatever those numbers might be. For me today, I'll be probably ranging in the 15 to 20, 25 pound range. We also have kettlebell swings. So if you have a kettlebell, pull it out. If not, pick a similar weight, your heavier end of the spectrum for just a hinge power movement. I'll use my bench today for propping my shoulders up for glute bridges. And then also I have my glute resistance band here for a little fire hydrant and kick back burnout at the end of the workout. So grab your water, grab your sweat towel, get ready. Let's go hinge it out. We're going to warm it up in three, two, one. Let's go. And give me a big squeeze at the top of your hinge. So make sure you're not just standing, but engaging. Great job. Exhale as you come up, one more. Good job, left leg just a little bit in front of the right. Let's reach down and up, just to get a little bit more into the hamstrings. Good, one more. And then switch legs. Nice work. Work on, while you're doing this, keeping your back nice and strong too. So make sure you're not rounding. Keep it strong and engaged. Two more. Good, last one. Perfect, open it up in front, wide stance. Bend one leg, keep the other one straight. Get a good inner thigh stretch here. Good job. We're gonna start off today with three rounds of 35 seconds of sumo squat. Okay, I want you to start heavy or at least get to your heaviest weight by the end of round number three. Then we'll move into some single leg work. And we'll kind of count reps together. But today's workout intention, strength. All about strength in the back of your body. Good, hinge forward, kick your left foot back, right leg stays up top, drop your hips down. Great job, lift and switch. Other side. Great job, all right, come on up to the top. If you've got your glute band, go ahead and throw it on. You just wanna open up your activation here. We're gonna start side lifts. Okay, so as soon as you get your band on, we're gonna go in four, two, one. Let's go, just getting the glutes ready to work today. Good job. Now give me just the left leg lifting, let's go. Good, stay centered right over the right leg. 10, nine. Good job, drive the heel, drive the heel. Switching legs in three, two, one. Let's go, other side. Lift it up. Think about driving the heel, leaning away from the lifter. There you go, you should start to feel both of them burning, waking up. That's it. 10, nine more. Four. Three, good, switch legs in two, one. You're going straight back. Right here, lift the heel. Do not arch the back more. The back stays strong right where it is. Good job, give me four, three, two, one, and switch legs. 30 seconds here and at the end of your 30, we're gonna rock right into those three rounds of sumo squats.
Good job. 13 more seconds. Let's go. Lift the heel, squeeze the glute. Nine, eight, seven, six. Good job. One more of two. One. All right, let's throw the band down in 15 seconds. We're gonna start round one of those sumo squats. Wide stance, dumbbell is here. Good range of motion, okay? You can use a kettlebell or a dumbbell, whichever you choose. All right, let's go. Nice work. I'm gonna challenge you a little bit more each round. Good job, give me seven more seconds. We'll rest for 10, and then we'll move on to round number two. Ready, rest, good job. Now, can you go heavier? If your answer is maybe or yes, let's do it. Round number two. Let's go. You really want to feel your glutes. Pause at the bottom and drive your knees out before you come up. There you go. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. Good, one last 10 second rest and we go for round three. Heavier if you can. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. I'm gonna keep you moving today. 30 minutes of glute work. We gotta keep as much tension as we can. Good, keep that little pause with the knee drive outward at the bottom going. Give me eight more seconds, come on. Six, five, two, one. All right, great job. If you need water, feel free to grab it. We're going into a little ladder set here. Left leg lunge, right leg lunge. Okay, for three minutes, you're gonna climb. Okay, you have options to do a stationary lunge. If you wanna do a split squat, that's totally fine with your foot on the bench, or you can step it forward, or you can step it backward, okay? A single leg lunge, so you can do two and two, four and four, six and six, and you keep climbing for those three minutes. All right, here we go. We're going in three, two, one, Let's go. Two on the right, two on the left. Then you go up to four. And you go to six and you just keep going. Keep moving. That's it, great work. If you're watching the clock, you're looking for 20 minutes on the clock as your stopping point. If you're not watching it, I got you. I'll keep you updated. First 45 seconds is complete. Keep digging your heel down in the front leg, always. Dig that heel down. Moving in the sagittal plane up and down like this is one of those three main movement patterns that activates our glutes. Great job, a minute 15 is done. You're about to come up on that halfway point. I want you to turn it up a little bit more. The reps are getting longer, stay focused. More time per leg as we creep into the second part of this. Stay in the burn. Good 
Good job. Come on, stay with it. And one minute to go, let's get it, come on. Push, 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 push. Don't slow down just because you're getting closer. Work harder. Nice job, you've got 30 seconds to finish this one out and then we move on to a new movement pattern. Good, keep moving, come on, 14, 13. And rest. You've got 30 seconds rest. And we're rocking into Romanian deadlifts, okay? Two feet on the ground, I want you to go heavy. This is one of your heavier ones here. Hip movement or hip hinge is our movement pattern. So, a little bend in the knee, strong back, weight is in front or right at the sides. Push the hips back, squeeze the glutes right back under your ribs, okay? We go in four, three, two, one, let's go. Good job, make sure there's no overextension of your back, okay? Squeeze. I always just think of getting my hips to shift right back under my ribs. Fifteen more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Fifteen seconds rest. We're going thirty seconds of kettlebell swings. Okay? Kettlebell swings for thirty. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, let's go. So it's kind of like a hinge and then a power hinge. Okay, our power, this one, time is a little bit shorter so you squeeze a little harder. 15. Five seconds, good job. Give me two more, three, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds, you're back to the deadlift. Two more rounds of those two exercises. All right, so if you can go heavier on the deadlift, crank it back up and we go in five. Slowing it down. Two, one, let's go. Do not let your shoulders round forward or come up towards your ears. Think of keeping everything in your upper back kind of like it's reaching back for your tailbone. It's back and down. Dig the heels in right before you come up. Like you're trying to split the floor in half. That's it, you've got nine more seconds. We rest for 15 and we go swings. Two. One, great job, rest. Grab your kettlebell or dumbbell that you're swinging. Just think of this as slow and heavy for the deadlift. And then lighter, power, shorter for the kettlebell swing. Three, two, one, let's go. Swings for 30. Keep your gaze kind of like forward and then diagonal forward. You should never be looking down at the mat or at your toes. Seven. Two, one. All right, last round of deadlifts. 
turn it up if you can. Go a little bit heavier if you are able. This is your last round of two legs on the deadlift. 45 seconds. We start in three, two, one. Let's get it. Exhale on your way up. Fifteen more seconds, come on. Good job, let's go for the extra nine. Eight, seven, four, three, two, one, and rest for 15. Now finish off with a swing. Round three. Four, three, two, one, all the power. Let's go for 30. Good, 15 more seconds right here. Squeeze, 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 come on. Reach, squeeze. Four, three, two, one, and rest. We're gonna rock into the same format we did for our lunges for a single leg deadlift, okay? So you go eight, or I'm sorry, you go two on the left, two on the right. In 15 seconds, we'll go together, but your options are to keep it staggered or you can lift, okay? Either one of those. <sighs> All right, let's go. Four, three, two, one, and we're off. Three minutes on the clock. Deadlift, ladder. Two on the left, two on the right. And then up to four and four and six and six. The same thing as the lunges. This gives you time to slow down, go heavier if you can. You're looking for 10.45 on the clock. Nice job. Keep it up, keep it up. Remember this is all about the hinge. So back stays strong, knees just a little bit bent. You're not bending over, you're just sending your hip backward. Okay, there's a difference in here and here. Okay, I need you to reach this hip back. First minute and 15 seconds is done. Adding two reps per leg, and as you get up into those higher reps, the focus on keeping your technique tight the whole time is crucial. Dig the heel down. Last minute, 60 seconds right here. Good job. Uh, 
Let's go, come on, finish strong. Then we go into some glute bridges. We go into some floor work after this. So work hard up top here. 15. Last couple, come on, keep it tight. Three, two, one, and breathe. Amazing, amazing job. Whew. All right, grab some water. We're starting in about 30 seconds with our floor circuit, okay? We've got a heavy and then two lighter per leg. So you've got your glute bridge, shoulder blades on the ground or on the bench, bridging up. 30 seconds there. Then we go into fire hydrant left leg. Then we go into kick back left leg. Then we go fire hydrant right, and then kick back right, and we're back to glute bridges, okay? So in 13 seconds, we start there, 30 seconds of everything until we run out of time. So glute bridge, we go in three, two, one, 30 seconds, right here. Dumbbell on your hips if you can. Think about your glutes coming together underneath or even like you're scooping up and under. Four, two, one, great job. Take it down, throw your band on. In about 10 more seconds, fire hydrant, left leg. All right, you're just right out to the side here. Four, three, Let's go. <clears throat> nice work. Good, take your heel up to the sky in five seconds, four, three, you're right here, two, one, let's go. And if you're like me, you just kind of caught your core relaxing. Pull your core up into your spine. Good, 15 more seconds. And then we're switching fire hydrant on the other leg. Let the sweat fall. You've earned it. Fire hydrants, right leg. Three, two, one, let's go. Seven seconds, you take that same leg, heel to the sky, four, three, two, and we're up. Right after this, you'll take a 15 second break and we're back to glute bridges for 45 seconds. Fourteen, 13, good job. Four, good. Three, two, one, back to glute bridges. Go up and wait if you can. Add a band if you can. Make this tougher for yourself however you can. And we're rocking for 45. Let's go, three, two, one. Looking right out past your knees, especially if your shoulders are on the bench, make sure you're not here. Okay, pull it in, you're looking right out past your knees. This keeps your spine in control, keeps that posterior lumbo-pelvic hip complex in control. 15 more seconds, let's go, come on. Take it down to the floor. 
We're going 45 for all four of those again. Fire hydrant, left, kick back left. Fire hydrant right, kick back right. Three, two, one, let's go. Good job, and if you don't have a band, you can also clamp a dumbbell right behind your hamstring and calf. Just relax your foot, but squeeze that hamstring. Okay, last 15 seconds here, and then we're taking your heel to the sky. Two, one, same leg, heel to the sky. 45 here. Good job, 15 more seconds. Then we go fire hydrant on the other leg. How you doing? Three, two, one, other side, fire hydrant. Let's go. Good job, almost there. After this, we're gonna stay in our glute bridge after you do your heel to the sky, of course. One more uh, variation here with the band and then we've got a glute bridge finisher. <sighs> heel to the sky, three, two, one, and we're up, let's go. 45 right here, then we're living in the glute bridge. I want you to pick that heavy dumbbell back up so we can close it out with full strength. Good, check your core, make sure you're not arching too much. Fifteen more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, 15 seconds. Make your way back to the glute bridge position. Grab that heavy dumbbell, put it back on. All right, we've got three variations here. Regular glute bridge, we go together in four. Three, two, one, bridge it out. 45 right here. Squeeze the glutes to lift the hips. Don't lift the hips and then squeeze your glutes. Squeeze in order to lift. 15. Good job, four, three, two, one, rest. Your next 45 seconds, I want you to try to keep the same weight. You're gonna go up, abduction, okay? and then come back down. Meaning open and close your knees, then go back to the floor. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Out, back down. Good, here's where we turn it up just a little bit. Go up and give me two abductions. One, two, and back down. Come on. Good job, in three seconds you go up and stay up, out, out, out. Let's go, hold it there, 
Drive, drive, drive. Don't come down for seven. Keep the glutes together. Four, three, two, one, rest. Great job. Now, speaking of not coming down, you're gonna stay up on this one, pulsing it out from the top to halfway down. Up, halfway, up, halfway. Keep that dumbbell. Ready? Three, two, one. We go up, only drop a little bit, just enough to slightly release your glutes. Back up, come on. Thirty more seconds of work here. Come on. Give me a three second pause up at the top. Three, two, one, down. Stay with me. Three, two, one, down. Come on. Three, two, one. Next one. Come up. Stay up for ten, nine, eight. Squeeze tighter. Seven, tighter. Six, five. Come on. Four, squeeze. Three, two, one and drop your glutes down. You've made it to your cool down. Amazing work today. Whew. Take the band off, flip it over to your hands and knees. We're just gonna try and relax the back and the hips and the glutes before you head out. But you've made it to your cool down. I think I already said that, but if I didn't, you've made it to your cool down. All right, tuck the tailbone underneath. Good, relax. Big deep breath in, exhale, lift. Great job, walk your hands forward for me. Open it up, drop your hips down, open your chest up if you can. Good, bring your left foot right underneath of your spine, kind of into a pigeon pose here and then drop it down a little bit lower if you can. Great work today. Great job for rolling with the punches in all three of our movement patterns, sagittal plane, abduction, and hip extension, all equally beneficial. Some people connect a little bit better with one movement pattern or two than the other, and that's why we do all three of them, just to make sure you get the full spectrum of the best ways to grow your strong glutes. Switch legs. Great work, sagittal plane, you can think of when we move up and down like in a squat, when your hips go straight up and down or in a lunge, that's your sagittal plane. Abduction is when you do something like a fire hydrant or a standing leg lift, taking your leg away from midline of your body which targets your glute medius the best, the top part of your glute. And then hip extension, deadlifts, glute bridges, where you hinge, okay. Both feet back, let's take it up into a pike position. Drive your heels down for me. <sighs> Big exhale, you did great today. And as you slowly walk back to your toes, take your time, try to nail your heels down to the floor. If you find a spot where you get a little bit tight in your hamstrings, keep working on that hamstring flexibility, mobility. Good, bend your knees just a little, ragdoll it up with your head coming up last. <sighs> Beautiful. Let's open up the hips just a little bit more. And then I'll let you head out. Whew. Great job, my last workout in week number 37 of my pregnancy. Tomorrow will be 38 weeks pregnant. And I'm so thankful for my strength throughout this time. I'm so thankful for you and this community that has embrace me fully doing what feels really, really good to me, which is movement, energizes me, it keeps me motivated, it keeps me mobile in my hips and my back. Been very thankful to feel so much better as I do these workouts with you. And of course, scaling how I need to, which is what we all do all the time anyways, right? That's life, whatever phase of life we're in, we adapt, we stay flexible, we embrace the strength that it takes to get through that season of life, and we move forward knowing we're stronger because of it. Whether it is injury, pregnancy, new challenge somewhere else in your personal life, in your professional life, keep embracing the things that challenge you. They're only there to make you discover your strength and to help you realize you're capable of becoming stronger all the time. 
Okay, so thank you for being here. Thank you for embracing that journey with me wherever you're at in your life. Don't forget, everything that you're going through is intentional. It's purposeful for you to make sure you're fine tuning your strength, appreciating the person that you're becoming through it, and then discovering who you can, can who you can continue to be as you keep facing things like this, okay? Big fan of resilience, as you know. So in order to discover that, you gotta go through some things that really test you. I'm so proud of you for being here today and I'm proud of you for pushing hard. No matter what's going on in your world, I'll be here for you. Keep showing up for yourself. And before you head out, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Turn on your notifications and I want you to comment below what you're gonna keep pushing yourself through right now that's gonna make you stronger when you come through it. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Great job today. We are so proud of you for crushing this glutes workout. Make sure you click the video that I'll link right over here for you if you want a little bit more work. Down here below, Moxie, if you want to stretch a little bit more, you can click that video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you back here tomorrow.